In this example, we'll build a truth table for a conditional statement. Specifically, we're told to construct a truth table for the statement not Q implies P, where Q implies P is in parentheses. So first, we'll build the column for Q implies P, and then we'll simply negate that column. To do this, we need to remember the rule for a truth table with a conditional statement. And a conditional statement is true whenever the condition is true and the implication is also true. However, it's also true if the condition is false. Because the only reason this conditional statement would break down is if what we start with, the condition is met, and what we claimed would happen doesn't happen. So if the condition is met and the conclusion or the implication doesn't occur, then that implication must be false. But that's the only case where it's proven false. So if we go through here, Q is the condition, P is the implication, the result. So in the first case, Q is true and P is true. So the condition was met and what we said would happen, the conclusion, occurred. So in that case, that conditional statement is true. For the second one, the condition was false and the conclusion happened anyway. But because this didn't break down at all, we assume that this is true. There's no reason to think that this implication is false. For the third case, though, the condition was met but the conclusion did not happen. So the condition was true and the implication is false, which makes this conditional statement false in that case. For the last one, the condition was not met, so we don't even have to worry about what the conclusion was or the implication. That conditional statement is true. So again, it's only false in the case where the condition is true and the implication is false. Once we have that, the last column is simple. We simply negate the column we have, replacing all the trues with falses, and the false with true. So the only new thing in this truth table is remembering the rule for the implication in a truth table.